Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so, some of you will know from the Facebook page that I have an issue with one of my beers. This is the, um, the Extra Extra Special Bitter from the James Morton book. I've brewed this before, but I used SO4. Um, and I mean, the flavor is okay, but it does taste a bit yeasty. And you can see it's such a cloudy beer. I think it's even worse than, than when I transferred it, so it must be the yeast. Um, so today I'm going to do gelatin fining. So what I've done so far, I've got one tablespoon of gelatin in here. One tablespoon. Um, and I'm just waiting for it to soften nicely. That is, the water is like 25 degrees, so it's just internal house temperature water. Um, and then I will slowly heat that up with 10 second bursts in the microwave to 65 degrees Celsius. Once it's at 65, that should pasteurize it, and then I'll let it naturally cool down. I'll put it in the fridge, covered with tin foil, and I'm gonna chuck that straight in the keg. Give that five or so days, and then hopefully, I'll put a couple of pints, and then I'll be able to come back and show you this crystal clear. Well, that's the hope. So, let's see how it goes. So, here we are. 64.8, six, well it was 65 a couple of seconds ago, so it's going to lose temperature, but that's the 65 degrees, um, and if I show you, it's really, really clear, obviously it has that sort of off color, but it's a clear, um, as in there aren't little um, globules of, of gelatine anymore, it's totally, entirely dissolved, so now I'm going to let that cool down and then I'll go perch the keg of um, CO2, uh, sorry, release the CO2 from the keg and pour this in once it's cooled down um, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so um, here it is. This is the cooled liquid. Um, pro tip, don't let it cool down too much. I did. I was doing a roast chicken, ended up leaving it going too long and it turned into jelly. So to warm it up a little bit again, did the same thing in the microwave, now it's ready to go. I'm just going to get into the, get into the keyser. So the keg that I'm trying to do is the ESB, which is keg number four. I mark it like this, four little stripes on the thing. Um, so what I need to do, take the gas off. Get the gas. And there's a bit of a leak in here. Very light gas leak there, so I'll turn that off as well. Better. Bit of all the gas on there. Okay, I'm gonna probably have to put you somewhere so that I don't end up cocking this up royally. Hopefully, you can get the gist of it. Let's literally take this bad boy off. Try and spread it around a bit. Well, it caused it to foam up a little bit in there. Let's see if I can uh, see there. Um, which isn't a bad thing because it's slightly overcarbed anyway. But that's it. Then I leave that for three days. I'm going to uh, obviously clear the headspace again, purge, um, refill it with uh, CO2. And uh, then I'll just put it back onto normal serving pressure and I'll come back to you. So I won't post this video till after, so you will have seen the before shot, which I'll probably put in again here. And then you'll see the after shot. So hopefully this works. Okay, so it's the next weekend now. And 
I pulled one pint off this to uh, just in case that there's a little bit of uh, um, at the bottom that settled out, and it was it was still quite cloudy. It's been carbonated. Now, time for the moment of truth. And um, I think you'll be able to tell that is nice and clear. The glass is a bit frosted up, but that is so much more clear. I don't know if it's possible to see properly. How much clearer that is. That is a damn sight clearer. Um, and the flavour. I'd say it's. I'm not sure if it's me, but it might have lost a little bit of its hot presence. Um, but it's a, it's a nice bitter, just a nice uh, bitter. The one from James Morton. Mouth feels really nice. It's a bit over carbonated though. I think maybe because I'm pouring it in a small glass, the first bit that comes out might be more head than you'd want. Um, I'll give that another, I'll be drinking it slowly now, but I'll give it some time and I may be tempted to just dry hop in the keg with just a, I don't know, 20 grams of mosaic or something like that, just to give it a little bit more. Just something missing in the middle there. But, uh, I mean, if I got that in the pub, I'd be happy, and I'm happy with this brew. Yeah, so in all, that's uh, a good technique to use. It doesn't affect the flavor very much, uh, if at all, and it's a nice way to get the beer clear uh, quickly. The other option is to do the gelatin finding in the fermenter or in your secondary vessel, um, if you second. And that's uh, probably even better because then you rack and clear beer directly into your keg. So it's up to you how you want to do it. And also, uh, finally, the last point is that apparently you don't need a full five days to wait. You can wait two or three days. Just always make sure that the first pint you pull off, you know that's going to be all the stuff that's come out, that's been pulled out. It's going to be a little bit cloudy. It's probably still drinkable, but I normally just chuck that away. Uh, keep on brewing guys and I'll catch you on the next one. Hopefully this video helped someone, somewhere in the world. Cheers.